the big guy. Hey, big guy. I literally have no words for this. Come on, hey, hey, come on, load up. Load up. Jump in, little dog. Oh my goodness, there's a husky in my car. <gasps> Hi, little doggy. Okay. What okay, in the I world? I need you to get into a safe neighborhood. Okay, I'll, all right, I'm going to start driving. Here, I need to start driving though because there's cars, so I'm going to go ahead and turn my hazards off and then try to save. So just narrate what, tell, tell the audience Sorry. what just happened. It's okay. Well, we're on a very, very busy road at night. Um, and we're driving and I see a big animal on the road and this isn't like Kingwood. Whoa, you stink, bud. So, so I don't know what this thing is. I wonder if this is a tracker on this friend, but he has Denali. Is that your name, Denali? There's a husky in my car, I don't believe it. <laughs> hey, baby. So just go straight when you get a chance and we're gonna uh -huh. park like right there and call your people. Sure. Denali, sure. we found your family. So we called the number on Denali's uh, caller and the person I'm assuming had no idea she was gone. So we don't know what happened, but we are driving this girl home. Hi puppy dog. She doesn't care. So we just gave Denali back to her road owners. This, we're gonna go back and watch this video and it's gonna be so chaotic. I, cause I don't think, um, anybody like fully is going to understand except for people that live in this area, how like scary. Here, I'll go to the exact spot we found her so people can actually see what it was like. Like this road, like it, the speed limit's like 45, but people don't go 45. So just to give a brief, to give a brief recap of what happened. Me and Megan are driving down this road to go get some stuff for our new apartment. <laughs> That's I know, a great way to announce that, it. That is a great way to announce <laughs> it, I know. We'll have more on that soon. But we're getting some groceries and stuff. At and 11 o'clock at night. Yes, it's a story. Yes, at 11 o'clock. We were going to Walmart and we see this dog. And like we're driving that way and the dog's walking this way like against traffic. And we're... I didn't know what it was at first. It was you who actually noticed that it was a dog. dog. I thought it could have been a squirrel or so, who knows what. I'm going to take it. I don't think she's a husky. I think she's like a husky mix. But that's not the moral of the story. It doesn't matter what kind of dog she is. She's a big old dog. And let me tell you, she's been out for a while because she is stinky. And so I feel no hate to her owners or anything. These kinds of things happen. And you can't really sometimes dogs just get out am i gonna rescue a cat now too this cat has a home there's a feral cat on the road um but i feel bad because he wasn't even like i'm not gonna i don't know how to word this like i was immediately my first thought was you need to pull over we need to get this dog and he's like it's dangerous like what like this the, you know like safety and we're not in my car <laughs> So I feel so bad that I just dragged this big old dog into no, your it, car. No, it's okay. I'm glad you at least didn't like yell at me and like try to grab the wheel from oh, me and no. like press That's the brake so and dangerous. stuff. Some people like get crazy in the car like that. And so I'm just glad that you no. at least said, Bubs, please pull over if you can. And so fortunately there was an opportunity for us to safely pull over and we did. But the credit, y'all should know though that Megan deserves all the credit for this because if it had just been me driving and I saw the dog, I honestly don't think that I would have pulled over for it because I, I love animals, don't get me wrong, but I guess I just get desensitized to it because I see so many stray animal, Grove. stray animals in Plum Grove on the side of the road that I just sit there and think, oh man, there's another one. I hope that that dog, hope it can find its way home. Hope everything's okay. So I'm the same way, but the difference is because and her owners have a very bright collar on her. Let me put that out there. Very bright collar. Um, and immediately when our headlights shined on it, you could see. And I saw the little the little bone tag that you know. You know you need to go straight and then that way, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so this is the road. It's two lanes. So we're driving like this. And the dog is like, like in the left lane over. coming this way right yeah. here. Coming towards us. And like I said, the speed limit is 40, 45, but I mean, people whiz past you. So we turned around 
probably pulled over here in this lane, put our hazards on, and parked. And the I, dog immediately, when we parked, came over to the car. Yeah, because every other car was driving by, but we actually stopped, stopped. with our hazard lights on. So the dog kind of, there was no other cars coming. And so after that, it came over to our car and the, you had the door open. And so she jumped I in. Told her, I told her, load up, and she did it. So, yeah, that's true. So her owner's... Have, and and when I called the owner, he, I was like, "Are you Denali's owner?" And he's like, "Uh, yeah." And I was like, "Okay." She was on the, <laughs> the main road, and he's very very grateful. So so glad that we were able to help somebody get their pet back because but, I'm sure a lot of you know that what that feeling is like. But but really though, the the dog wouldn't have gotten taken home if the owners hadn't given it such a bright collar. Mm -hmm. So y'all should know that, like having a collar in the first place. Or, and having a bright one at that does make a big difference. Yeah, for sure. It's just insane. So, <laughs> crazy. I know. Oh my goodness. Your boy, Elio.